Hey everybody, Trucker Chad here. I am in uh, St. Joseph, Missouri, getting uh, loaded with a bunch of car batteries. It's going to be a super heavy load. It's going to kill my fuel mileage, but it's a fun drive. Uh, forgive me if I if you see me glancing to my left. I'm looking at the uh, the red light on the dock. As soon as I see it go green, that means uh, I can go get my paperwork and hit the road. So. Um, wanted to talk to everybody today about teaming um, yeah PAM transport is not requiring the teaming uh, commitment part of the contract anymore it's now an option and uh, obviously most people are going to choose to go solo because um, they don't think they'll enjoy teaming or they're worried about getting a bad teammate so yeah you don't have to team anymore it's not a requirement um, but you should and that's the reason why I'm doing this video is as a solo driver that's just starting out you're on the lowest end of the pay scale your driver manager has no idea who you are the load planners uh, don't have any idea who you are you haven't made a name for yourself um, you're starting on the bottom and let's be honest um, making money is a huge reason why we're doing this job to begin with and why wouldn't you want to put yourself in that position uh, to, to maximize your earning potential as a new driver um, again you're starting out on the bottom nobody knows who you are you haven't made a name or reputation for yourself um, so start, starting off as a solo driver can be a bit of a challenge and you know a lot of people may not be up to that challenge they may have some tough weeks where they're not making that much money and um, unless you you know keep grinding and just get through it and put your time in um, that's going to lead a few people to quit, unfortunately. Enough people quit in this industry um, for enough reasons. You know, don't let pay be one of those reasons because you will have opportunities to earn plenty of money later on down the road. Your first year, I've said it, you know, hundreds of times. Um, your first year is about learning and gaining experience. After that is when the money comes. So, you know, I'm, I'm in, into my third year of trucking already. And uh, I'm expecting to make close to $100,000 this year. So you'll make money. If you run, you get your loads delivered on time, you make a name for yourself, uh, you do all the right things, keep the complaining down to a minimum, uh, you'll be fine. You'll earn money. But starting out, it's going to be a challenge. Teaming is the way to minimize that challenge of, of earning money. So you know, I've done the math before in other videos. I've explained it, but... Um, by teaming basically you'll earn 20 to 25 percent more money you're gonna be running a whole lot of miles as a team the truck doesn't need to stop moving that truck will keep moving 24 hours a day as long as there's a load on it there will be times you know when you'll, you'll, you'll stop um, enjoy that rest enjoy that break because as a team more often than not checking for that red light more often than not you're gonna be running hard and you're gonna be running all the time so you know you can definitely earn more money and have a better opportunity to have better paychecks starting off uh compared to, to running solo so yeah running solo it's your truck you get to set it up how you want um it's a slower pace and some people might be looking for that all right they're starting to load me sweet you're going to see the camera moving so forgive that there is a guy on a forklift with big heavy batteries in the back of my trailer so you're going to feel the phone or see the phone moving and vibrating. So anyways, team, if you know, give it a shot. You don't have to do it. So you can, it's something you can start, try off in, in the beginning and then see how it goes. And if you and your teammate are getting along well, then keep at it for a few months. Run for six months as a team. So give it a shot. You know, earn more money. Um, you'll have somebody there as well. To help you with things like backing or trip planning or uh, navigating all the options in the Qualcomm, um, you know, y'all can split costs on some things, maybe a microwave or a GPS unit, whatever. Take that opportunity to earn more money and team up with somebody. You'll make 20 to 25 percent more. Um, your truck will always be running, and uh, you know, Pam other companies they need teams they need happy quality productive teams because then everybody's running hard making money also on top of that most companies including Pam 
give big bonuses to teams that commit to a longer term. Um, I believe it's a year. If you commit to a year as a team, there's even more um, earning potential. I believe the, the last time I heard the bonus was 5000 per driver. And I heard the last time it was $1,000 up front, and then you get a chunk every month. So in the beginning, you're on the lowest end of the pay scale. You'll earn more money as a team. Uh, if the team is working out, it's productive. You guys can uh, work together. You have a good system down. You want to keep at it, make even more money, then continue on that teaming relationship. Get that bonus. Um, or if it doesn't work out, hey, you tried it. You go back to solo. Um, just keep in mind that solo drivers in their first six months don't make as much money. And, um, you know, it, it's just it's going to take you time to, to kind of build up your reputation and for them to know that you're a runner. And here, <laughs> this, this truck is really shaking a lot. So that's what I wanted to say. You don't have the team anymore, but you should. It's going to make you more money. And, um, you know, you'll have somebody to lean on. In those first couple of months where it's really critical uh, that you pay attention to everything and you're extra careful so for anyways uh, for driver solutions for Pam this is trucker Chad good luck to uh, the new students that are starting school uh, stay safe everybody out there on the roads and um, talk to y'all later bye